Eagles win if, David. If Nick Foles gets into a rhythm, and I think that's established by the run game and the offensive line play and the ability to get him into those run-pass options, gain some confidence, and then push the football down the field. I think the biggest thing that they do well is move the pocket, obviously, but they create indecision with the defense. And I don't know that the Patriots are set up to play a lot of man coverage on the outside. It depends on how they feel, how they match up with guys. Um, but if they do that, Nick's going to be in a position where he can just make some easy one-on-one throws. If they play zone coverage, then that dreaded run-pass option comes into play. Now the linebackers are going to be in positions where they have to either step up and tackle LeGarrette Blunt or Jay Ajayi or make sure nothing's being thrown right behind them. And the Philadelphia Eagles do that as good as anyone in the league. You've talked about rhythm and Nick Foles a lot, I feel it's like, uh, the I last few him. weeks that we've been focusing on the Eagles throughout the postseason. Is it just getting rid of the ball on time and quickly? I really think it has a lot to do with what the outside noise is. And you even hear his teammates when they're congratulating him on the sideline, like, oh, yeah, I knew you could do it, bro. I knew you could do it. Congratulations. I think that's what goes into it. And if he plays well early, then I think the confidence will be there. If he doesn't play well early, I think – naturally, you're going to have questions. Okay, are these guys going to get us today? Is Nick not on? And that kind of fluctuates throughout the entire sideline. So I think that's as important as anything for the Philadelphia Eagles. Make sure he gets going early, and then we can make some plays as a team. All right, Hall of Famer, Eagles win if. If they're in, I'm not saying, if they're running backs. <laughs> I knew we were going to be going there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where else am I going? I talk quarterbacks. You talk quarterbacks. So quarterbacks. Happens, you got defense alive. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> fair enough. If their backs are highly productive, I mean, you have LeGarrette like Blunt, Jay Jay, you have Clement. Their backs are, are capable of getting out in open space. You got backs who are like a Jai, right? Or you got Blunt, can pound you up the middle. You talk about that RPO. Yeah. And the reason why it's important is because you want those linebackers hesitating just a fraction yep, to absolutely. defend behind them. If that happens, they can now dominate their line. Their offensive line is very, very good, especially the right side of their offensive line. If they can control the running game, get those backs out in space on those linebackers, get them the ball, I think they have a very good shot at winning this game. And that Patriots defense giving up 4.7 yards per carry. That's second worst in the NFL. Yeah. So to your That's point – they might be able to gash them a little bit, and if they can get that started early in the game, could bode well yep. for the Eagles. <laughs>